why doesn't she deserve the recognition? That's the big question. She just supports our whole department. She supports the whole organization. She embodies our greater values. So she lives and breathes our mission values um, and just like her ethical beliefs. She uh, is wonderful. She's wonderful to work with. She is always helpful. You know, one of the things I quickly learned about Amy is her attention to detail and her drive to know her work and to understand her work at a very detailed level. Amy came to the Quality and Safety Department as the Outcomes Manager um, at a crazy time during the COVID pandemic. She um, just jumped right in with both feet. She never, never missed a beat. Uh, on December 6th, uh, I think most people know we had the cyber attack. We needed people to serve as runners in the organization because our tube systems were down. We weren't even able to communicate via email or um, uh, you know, any of the traditional means. So uh, Amy volunteered to be a runner. Her, Amy worked night shift um, to support to be a runner, to go throughout the organization to help the pharmacy team, to help the nursing staff make sure they had the medicines you know, for, for our patients. And then during the day, she still worked. I was completely blown away by that, that she volunteered for that. And uh, when I saw her one morning when she was getting off her shift, I said, Amy, thank you so much for you know, working all night and helping our patients, because we are a 24-7 operation. I think I really wanted to help in any way possible during the downtime event um, because we're all a team and we all need to, to come together. That, that starts from the top when Carolyn reached out to, to us over that weekend that, that it happened and you just really need to, to come together and I think that's what makes us great. Um, it actually was a positive for me because I got to work night shift and do some running at night. So I got to see staff, um, clinical staff, that were truly inspiring t to me to see how they maintain and just excel at, at what they do. Uh, I think that was a unique experience. As a manager, it's always better to lead by example, and she definitely does that, and that's inspirational. And um, she never pushes someone aside, you know, and that is so kind of her. She, she puts others first and then somehow manages to get her own work done. And she's always willing to educate and teach. Um, it's kind of leading by example and that's what Amy does. She, she embodies that. She mentored me, she taught me. So even things that Amy didn't know, she strives to know. She becomes that expert um, that you want to go to for all of your answers. One thing with Women's History, month that, that I think is a recurring theme and other people that I've heard speak is the influence that others have had on them. So my mother actually was a tech at GBMC when GBMC first was came to fruition in 1965. So she has been my inspiration throughout my entire career. I actually have on my door to my office a list of very um, influential people throughout my career here that have made a difference to, to me personally. All along the, that journey, I've met really influential, strong women that are leaders, even without the official title of leader, they've been leaders to me, um, which I think is important. Amy never says no. She'll always say, let me look into this. Uh, I never ever have to go back and say, where are you with this? Because it's usually always in my inbox. <laughs> You know, she has this amazing twist, so we don't always see the good things that happen at GBMC, but she takes some of the, the not good outcomes and she finds the good in those, how we can make improvements. Just the joy, I think, and back to the passion. You know, I, I love my job. I've loved every role that I've had here, and just coming to work and, and having a positive attitude, thinking about, okay, what, what new thing can I learn today keeps me supercharged. She is a go-getter, she works hard, she strives to do the best, she's very easy to work with. I would love to have younger women speak to her because Amy has proven that when you set your mind to something, you can accomplish it. She lives by example, so the way she works is, is so inspirational. She inspires others to, to have it all, to be that successful, person and to find joy in your work and your home life too. You know, initially 
when I was a single parent, it was, you know, working for my children and doing the things that would benefit them. Um, then, you know, as you get older, you kind of see it more, I guess, for yourself. And um, although they, they still motivate me every day, um, they, they're a big part of, of keeping me in touch with who I am and what I want and um, the joy that, that working here brings every day.